I'll kiss you too. You ever seen a tall. tree fall over timber? Have you ever seen a little midget get smashed on? That's gonna be your body. That's gonna be your body. Stone Jack. That's gonna be your body. You're gonna be like a tree. I'll pop you like a balloon. I'll make you quit. You Jack. You got no art and no nuts. Nice start, gentlemen. It's gonna be a long promotional tour, so. Just keep a little bit back. Listen, and you ain't ready. You're never going to be ready. Mm. Your managers know you're not ready. Your lawyer knows you're not ready. Mm. That bald headed fella at the side of you, he knows you're not ready. Mm. Whoever he is, all bald head there. <laughs> On the end. It's good work. It's still only just after <laughs> midday. Thank man, you, Tyson. So you ain't ready. You're not ready, Dosser, are you? Man, some water. You big bum. Or oh, ice pack, because you got an eel head right now. Yeah, I've got, I will have eel fists in a minute if and you keep on. He's going to have a knot on his head. I will just uh, also extend a further apology for the language you went too far. We apologise completely for that. I want to welcome the man on the end, Lou DiBella, because Lou is actually a man who's been in this business an incredibly long time. And you have, I was just trying to remember, I think you've probably promoted top history fights in every weight division from bantamweight up, actually, over, over the last two and a half, three decades. So this as a heavyweight fight, what does it mean in your mind? Well, it's been a long time since the heavyweight division has had two giants like this, two champions at the top of their game, at the top of their division, willing to fight one another and making it happen. It's not rocket science making a fight. And the young man to my, my left over here spent a whole lot of time working on making another fight with a guy from this very country, your, your country, who didn't want to fight. But when there was an opportunity, when that man came back and cleared himself up and got back in the ring and got himself into the shape he's in, Shelly and Frank were able to make this fight very quickly. And what do you because think when two great champions want to fight, the fight happens. And that's why December 1 is happening. And on December 1, when the Gypsy King fights the Bronze Bomber, the lineal heavyweight champion fights the hardest punching heavyweight in the world, the BC heavyweight champion, we're going to know right then and there who the best heavyweight on the planet is until proven otherwise. And the winner of this fight on December 1 will be the best heavyweight on the planet. And because you know the business and the game so well, what do you think of what he's done in his career so far, Tyson Fury? You know, he, he's, an he's an interesting cat. And he's had an amazing ride. And he's had to overcome a lot of adversity. And... Um, and I think Baldy over there should be proud of himself for getting <laughs> his life together and being able to turn things around. And what he's done in the last six months has been rather remarkable. I have tremendous admiration for that guy, and I'm still going to admire, going to admire him after he gets knocked out on December 1. And I think you've got more chance of going to fall out of air back, Baldy, <laughs> than you have of him beating me. Look, we're all challenging in certain ways. <laughs> Next to Shelley Fink.